have a hair chit chat video for you guys. You guys have been requesting so much. You guys have been asking me questions about my hair, mostly about the color this time. Um, you know, because I did a previous hair video where I talked about, you know, wearing units and whatnot. So I think most of you guys know that the hair that I usually am wearing are pretty much units. Um, if you guys don't know what units are, leave a link down below. I kind of talk about it and protective styling and all that good stuff. Um, but today I wanted to come here and just talk about my hair, talk about hair and Whenever people ask me about um, my hair and whatnot, I always kind of keep those questions at the back of my mind because I do know that if I'm supposed to type the question out, I mean the answer out, it's probably going to be like this long. So I figure I'll read the questions, you know, keep them in the back of my mind. But this time, as I said, you guys have just been asking me about the color. Recently, um, so okay, before I even go into that, I'll just tell you guys specs and whatnot. So I am wearing another unit. This time, the only difference is that instead of a lace closure, which is pretty much four inches by four, um, this time I'm wearing a frontal. I've been wanting to try frontals for a very long time. I see people like Time the Infamous Rocket. I see people on Instagram like Kellon Derrick, I think he's called, that just slips these frontals and other hairstylists on Instagram as well and I'm just like every time looking at them they just look so natural it offers you such flexibility you can flip the hair this way flip it that way and whatnot when I got my closure it didn't really work like that for me and I don't necessarily think it's how it's um, made I think it's just the sacrifice I didn't want to sew it down and I also didn't want to apply glue obviously to you know have the closure um, lay as flat as possible against the hairline so I still think it gives me somewhat of the illusion of a more natural looking hairline um, and the only difference I can see is that just the, the hairline around my hair is just a lot neater instead of having bumps it's just a lot neater and I don't glue this down or anything like that because I'm not about that glue your closure down kind of thing um, so yeah, so it's a lace frontal and I'm wearing three bundles in addition of 20 inches hair. I think they're all 20 inch. Are they? Yeah, I think they're all 20 inches. I don't remember what I was doing, but I think they're all 20 inches. I wanted to do like a one, um, what you call it? Like a one length kind of thing I don't know I just wanted to try, to try something differently so that's what I ended up with if you guys love your hair super thick you can go with four bundles especially the longer that you get I just wanted a knot or a regular you know thickness I wasn't trying to put too much into it and with the closure you can go with three bundles of hair because it's literally from you know it stretches from here to here so you're using less hair anyhow um, I do have a clip of how I color the hair because that's where you guys had a lot of the questions is in how I color the hair. So first off, I will say that I don't color my bundles before I install. I install the hair, I trim the hair, and then I color the hair. Um, and I color it as a unit. So what I do is I first lifted the hair and the hair comes as a 1B color. So to lift the hair, I pretty much um, use the lightest developer possible. I think it's developer 10. And I use like three parts developer to one part um, bleach. This was my first time doing this procedure. I do want to film a full on color video for you guys. I did show how I go in and get the ombre slash balayage technique that is just makes the the ombre look a little bit more natural it's a different process that instead of it looking kind of dip dyed it just makes it look a lot more natural so I first went in I lifted the hair just slightly like you literally don't want you want to lift it from say a 1b to maybe a 3 or a 2 you want it to be like a light brown so that when you go in now with your color you know it's really going to give you a better transition so the clip that you guys are going to see now is when I actually go in and color the hair this is something that takes different um 
what how would you say this now it's it's not something that you probably can do in one take if you're someone that is i think even professional colorist sometimes you have to color the hair two three four times before you actually get the color that you're looking for and that's exactly what happened with me i think i colored it about three times um and the the video that you guys are going to see i think was the fourth time that i actually colored the hair color the hair I wash it with shimmer lights this is a very important process for coloring the hair because this is what's going to make it not look brassy and what I mean by brassy is that when you color hair it look it has a color that looks almost orangey and that is when it looks homemade or what would you say it looks like you did it you did it yourself so this is the stuff after I wash it out all the color I let the shampoo sit on the hair for a good 20 minutes then I rinse it out and then I always use these on my hair and these are the John Frieda sheer blonde light highlight activated enhancing shampoo and conditioner I hope I said that correctly yeah um, so it says brightens the full spectrum of blonde tones which is what we just discussed, right? You want the hair to have different tones to it. You have, you want one to, some to be caramel, some to be lighter blonde. So it gives it a nice dimension. Um, so yeah, I love these. This is what I use after I color. This is what I use weekly when I'm gonna wash the hair. And usually I don't use conditioner on um, the hair, but once you color it, um, maybe that's something I should talk about as well. The hair, I would say still maintain luster and body after you color it but I would definitely say that if you've been curling it for like five days straight 
yeah, if you've been curling it like five days straight, it starts to get a little bit dry. And then you start to see like how the ends are a little bit drier than everywhere else. So I've been putting the conditioner on after I shampoo it, but usually I just shampoo the hair. But the more you color it, the more I feel like the ends just get a little bit dry. And this is why I've been using the conditioner a lot more than I usually do, but this is what I use for color treated hair. Once I air dry it or whatever, even to style it, I usually go in with this hair and it's another product for color treated hair as well. This one is the Garnier Fructis Marvelous Oil Color Illuminate Five Action Hair Elixir and it's for color treated hair. It's literally a serum. And guys, I've been using this nonstop for the past three months and it's <laughs> not so much as there. I find that it doesn't weigh the hair down. It doesn't give it a greasy look. It also doesn't even give it a shiny look. It just kind of smooths the hair. And I don't know, it gives it life, but it doesn't look shiny. If you guys are looking for something that's shiny, this is definitely not going to give you that. But it just kind of smooths everything and it doesn't definitely doesn't feel greasy because I do this pretty much every day every day to style my hair I would go in with one or two pumps of this go through you know rub it up go through the hair and it just looks alive and vibrant and beautiful again curl the hair there's nothing honestly too hard about it um, this is the curling one that oh I have a few people to ask me a lot about how I curled it So I included a clip of how I curl the hair for you guys. This is a curling one that I got I think it's called Neo the brand and it's a Yeah, it's called a Neo t twister and it's a I'm not sure I think this is a I don't know I don't remember how big it is but this would be the biggest wand or this is the biggest one that I've ever seen and it gets super super hot I was debating between this one and a Numi curling wand and this one I think goes up to 450 and the Numi one went up to 425 so because obviously it's not my hair I want to curl this sucker up as quick as possible so I love when my tools are very very hot
Now, this is the one that is, to me, one of the most important parts of, you know, whenever you wear units or anything like that, and it's the baby hairs. If you can get your baby hairs right, your units will look very, very, very natural. The thing that I use for my baby hairs, and guys, I've gone through so many edge type products. I mean, think of every single one that's even in the drugstore, in the beauty supply store. The last good one that I used before this one that I'm about to show you is that one with the Gorilla on it. And I heard about that for years. I couldn't get it here in Toronto, but they recently started carrying it at my beauty supply store maybe about a year ago. But I tried it, I didn't really like it. But this stuff here, guys, it's unbelievable. Like, honestly, I cannot believe I found this at the drugstore. It's from the brand um, Got To Be. And it's the Got To Be Ultra Glued Invisible Styling Gel. This stuff is like glue. It says ultra glued. Like, this stuff literally is what I use to smooth out my my thing here my um you know my baby hairs the top right there and around it so whenever if my hair blows that's what you're seeing underneath it that's pretty much what you're seeing and it just gives it like a nicer scalp like look that i like the next thing with this glue is that you can even use this to kind of make sure that your lace wherever your part is kind of sticks to your scalp one of the things that i like I, I don't i hate when i see a full lace closure or a lace front closure or anything like that is when i can see the line of demarcation between where your hair is and where the lace is i don't think concealer doesn't solve it foundation doesn't solve it eyeshadow doesn't solve it you literally have to let the hair you know um stick to the scalp so this is what i use to do that i mean it doesn't stick like glue i mean i know it says ultra glued, glued but it's actually a it's a gel right but it just helps it temporarily to kind of stick right where i need it and because this is a lace frontal uh, whenever i do that too i kind of you know do the same thing around the hairline as well I'm gonna leave a link to where I got the hair because I got the hair from the same place that I got the other hair that I spoke about in my last video. And I don't know, I like that company. They're they're very quick and I, I don't have any complaints about the hair at all. The only other thing too, I'm gonna leave two links for you guys because I don't usually buy my closures from them. I buy the hair from them, but I don't buy the closure from them. I buy the closure from a separate company and I'll leave that link down below as well. The closure needs to be right like the closure needs to be right so i'm going to leave a link down below to where i got this because i think it was a very 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 decent closure and i'm i'm really happy with it i'm not sure if i'll use a lace frontal again i like them but i don't know i don't know i'll see <laughs> i'll see what i'll do for sure i give you guys my word and pinky promise pinky pinky promise that the next time i you know do a unit i'll definitely film the process for you guys because it was my first time working with a lace frontal so i didn't really know what i was doing so you know when you don't really know what you're doing you kind of have to focus a little bit harder to get it right you don't want to be thinking about your lighting if people are able to see you just want to be able to do it and focus on it and make sure that everything goes well Oh, I didn't mention also, this is also the hairspray that I use in my other video. I love this stuff. It makes, it gives my hair hold, but it still enables it to move. And then when I spray this today, the next day, it's, it's just feels loose again. I can go in with my curling iron without it being crunchy, if you know what I mean. So I absolutely love it. It's the Salon graphics chromologica and it's also for color treated hair as well because you know we just want to use products once again to maintain the vibrancy of the hair <sighs> i think that's it i think that's it guys i think that's it so i know that i've rambled on all this time but i really wanted to answer as many questions as i think remember you guys having so this is it guys i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye